People everywhere enjoy more freedom of movement today than ever before. And they have more of the necessities and luxuries of life. The whole world is on the threshold of a golden age of transportation. In the United States, a new national highway system, 41,000 miles of interstate superhighways serving every major area of the country, is under construction and scheduled for completion within the decade. Already this new highway system is having a dramatic effect on passenger car travel. And the future possibilities for movement of freight are just as exciting. When this network of superhighways is completed, true long-range hauling at sustained speeds with all city traffic bypassed will become a practical idea for the first time. But tomorrow's trucking industry will need cargo carriers far superior to those we have today. They must have more cruising range, more speed and power, more payload capacity, and better crew accommodations. And they must move smoothly with the traffic flow. What will tomorrow's trucks be like? Well, meet Big Red. Big Red is an experimental gas turbine powered super truck for the 1970s. It was conceived and computer designed by Ford Motor Company engineers and stylists and already has traveled from coast to coast testing its adaptability to the highways and traffic of the future. Red has been on display at the New York World's Fair. At auto shows. And wherever the opinions and suggestions of truck drivers and operators could be sampled. The cab of Big Red is 13 feet high, level with and closely coupled to its trailer. The rear of the cab is concave to maintain clearance on curves. The overall length of the tractor and twin trailers is 96 feet. A small turbine engine was designed by Henry Ford and two associates in 1925. And since that time, Ford engineers have been interested in the potential of gas turbine power. Today, in this modern turbine laboratory, with the help of computers and the latest testing devices, the most advanced engines and components are evaluated as part of a gas turbine development program. This experimental 705 engine is the heart of Big Red. It was designed and built by the company's research engineers under contract with the United States Navy on a joint Army-Navy program as an all-purpose gas turbine power plant. It develops 600 horsepower and is capable of 24-hour-a-day sustained operation. It provides Big Red with a cruising speed of 70 miles an hour and a non-stop range of more than 600 miles. A unique supercharged cycle contributes to the 705's high efficiency. There are two compression stages, and exhaust gases are used to preheat air entering the primary burner. The weight to power ratio is about one third that of diesel engines of comparable horsepower. This engine makes very little noise and is almost vibration free. 
its exhaust is clean, and it can burn a wide range of fuels. The crew of this super truck enters the cab through a door opened by air cylinders, using a ladder that lowers automatically. The seats are adjustable, leather covered, and equipped with safety belts and built-in headrests. A freestanding console contains the basic controls, and power assists take much of the work out of driving. Turbine operating conditions are shown by instruments on the windshield header. At the rear of the cab is an express truck route map of the United States. a wash basin and concealed toilet. A small refrigerator. Beverage dispensers. and a warming oven. The driver and co-driver of Big Red have a commanding view of the highway through a wide expanse of tinted windshield and side glass. And their cab is air conditioned with separate heating and cooling systems. The co-driver's fold-away table can be used either for writing or eating. And a personal television set is viewable only from his position. It cannot be seen by the driver. His seat tilts to a horizontal position for resting. Big Red is designed to move smoothly on the road without the usual buffeting turbulence associated with speed. Its aerodynamic efficiency is 37% better than trucks of traditional design for improved fuel economy. The cab has a separate suspension system. It actually floats free from the tractor chassis for a remarkably comfortable ride. Whatever the world of tomorrow may be like, and whatever kinds of vehicles and tools may be needed for the exciting decades ahead, you may be sure that the scientists, the engineers, and the stylists are planning and building for them today. Many new and exciting ideas are taking shape on the drawing boards. And someday, when you are driving along the highway,